Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a professional email address using your blog's domain name and also show you how to configure an autoresponder email. Now, one of the many benefits of having a WordPress blog hosted by Bluehost is that you can quickly create a professionally branded email address using your blog's domain name. Instead of using a personal email address from gmail.com or yahoo.com, Bluehost's webmail allows you to create an email address at your domain. And like I said in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating a professional email address for your blog's domain and also show you how to set up an autoresponder so that you can establish good rapport and customer service with your audience. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you'll wanna do is log in to your Bluehost account. And you can access your account by visiting bluehost.com and click on the Login tab in the primary nav. And this will take you to your login screen. And be sure that you have the Hosting Login button selected. That's gonna ensure that you're accessing the correct portal. Then you'll wanna enter your username and password and click the Submit button. And this will take you to the new and improved Bluehost portal. So to start the email setup process, click the Email and Office tab on the left-hand side of the screen. And you may see some offers from Office 365 and G Suite. However, for this tutorial, we're going to be setting up basic email. So click the See Options button next to the Basic Email section. And this will take you to the account management page. And by default, you should be on the add email account tab. And this is where we'll create and add the new email account. So first you'll wanna create your new email account name. So in the email field where it says enter an account name, type in your new email account name. Now you have endless options when choosing an account name, but remember that this is gonna be the email account associated with your blog. So try to keep it professional and to the point. I'm gonna use info at bensnewbloggingvideo.com. There we go. Next is the password. You have the option of creating your own password, but you can also have Bluehost generate a secure password for you instead. I recommend letting Bluehost create the password. So click the generate password button and Bluehost will automatically create a secure password for your webmail account. And be sure to keep this in a safe location so you don't forget, because it is quite unique. Then copy, highlight that password, copy it, and paste it in the second field again where it says password again to verify the new password, perfect. Next, you'll wanna select your mailbox quota. Now, your mailbox quota determines the amount of disk space that the account may use to store email. A good rule of thumb is to start small and change the amount as you grow. And 250 megabytes is a good starting place. So that's what I'm gonna set it as. Now you can easily change your mailbox quota if you grow out of 250 megabytes. However, if you don't need to worry about disk space, you can also select unlimited from that dropdown. But again, I'm sticking with 250. Next, click the Create Account button, and I recommend leaving the box below the Create Account button checked. This will ensure that the additional webmail client configuration instructions are sent to you. Then you'll get a notification letting you know that your email account has been successfully created. Go ahead and click the View link to check it out. And as you can see, we now have our email account set up as well as some additional actions. Now I should mention that this isn't where you check your email. This is just the email account management section of your Bluehost portal. We still need to access and configure the webmail so that we can access our inbox. And to do that, you'll need to access your account. Now your new email account can be accessed a few ways. The first is by clicking the access webmail link under the action settings of this page or you can log in directly at login.bluehost.com forward slash hosting forward slash webmail. And I'll put a link in the show notes, but this is just like when we accessed our Bluehost account at the beginning of the video. It's pretty much the same process. You'll still click the login tab in the primary nav right there, which will take you to the screen that we're looking at. But the only difference from earlier is that you'll wanna make sure that you have the webmail tab 
selected whenever you're logging into your blog's email. Not the hosting login, the webmail login. Then you'll enter the email account name and the password that you just created and click the login button. And once logged in, it's time to configure your email client. Now your email client is the back end of your webmail. This is where you'll read, sort, delete, and configure your email and email settings. And Bluehost states that if you've already chosen a default webmail application, you'll automatically be logged in. But if you haven't selected one yet, which we haven't, you'll have three options for webmail clients that are built into your account. And you can see them listed at the top of the screen. There's Horde, Roundcube, and Squirrel Mail. And each webmail client works extremely well, but they have different features. Roundcube is the most popular, but swing by the Bluehost help desk if you want more info on each of the email clients. So for this video, I'm gonna select Roundcube. So click the Roundcube logo to set it as the default mail client. There we go. Then to check it out, click the webmail icon on the upper left-hand side of the screen. And boom, we're in. Your professional email that is using your domain is now set up. So now every time that you log into your Bluehost email account, this is where you'll be taken and it's what your email inbox will look like. And you should have one email in your new inbox and that's the configuration settings email from Bluehost. This is just to show you the settings of your new account, but it also shows you that the new email address is functional and working properly. All right, next, let's add an autoresponder. So an autoresponder is pretty much what it sounds like. It's an automated email response that will be sent out as soon as an incoming email is received in your new inbox. This is super helpful when fielding emails for your new blog because it sets the tone that you care about your audience's inquiries and it gives you some additional time to respond, especially if you're receiving a ton of emails to your blog. All right, so to get started, Click the autoresponders submenu item on the left hand side of the screen. And this will take you to the autoresponder setup page. And the first thing you'll want to do is select the domain that you want to associate this autoresponder with. So under the managing drop down menu, select your domain. There we go. Then to get started, click the Add Autoresponder button. And this is where we'll start to set up and modify the actual autoresponder email sequence. So the first thing you'll see are some suggested tags to use in the body of your autoresponder email. I'm not gonna be using any of these because I'll be writing everything out, but if you wanna use these tags in the body of the message, these are some tags available to use. Below that is the character set, and without getting into the weeds by default, it should be set to UTF-8, and most internet users encounter the UTF-8 character set, and it offers many benefits that other character sets lack, so I recommend just leaving this as is. Next is the interval, and this is where you'll set the number of hours to wait between responses to the same email address. For example, if you set up an autoresponder with an interval of 24 and you receive an email from someone at 8 a.m. on Monday, the autoresponder immediately responds to that message. But if the same person continues to email you throughout the day, the autoresponder does not send another response for 24 hours after the initial email. Then if that same person emails you again after the 24 hour interval expires, the system sends them an autoresponder email. So, long winded reason, but I'm gonna set this as 24 hours. So in the interval field, type 24. Next is the email field, and this is where the autoresponder will come from. So simply enter the email account name that we just created, and make sure that your domain is selected below that. Next is the from field, and I'm just gonna enter bin, but this is what will display whenever people see who the email is from. So be sure that it correlates with your blog or your blog's title. Next is the subject. I'm just gonna say, thanks for reaching out. Then below that is the body, 
And this is what people will see whenever they open the email. And I've already created an email, so I'm just going to paste it in the body section. But these autoresponder emails are great opportunities to generate leads, drive traffic to something like your YouTube page, or even promote content. For example, this autoresponder says, Hello and thanks for your email. Yes, this is an automated response, but you'll receive a personal reply from me within 24 to 48 hours. In the meantime, did you know that I have a weekly newsletter? Yep, you heard it right. A weekly dose of all your favorite content sent right to your inbox. Now to ensure that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff, sign up for my newsletter here. Like I said, I'll be sure to get back to you within a day or so. Thanks, Ben. Now I didn't add a link in the email to the newsletter, but Again, that's where you would obviously want to add a link to your opt-in form or landing page that captures emails for your newsletter. All right, then below that are the start and stop times. I'm going to leave this as is because I want this to run every time someone tries to contact the blog. So leave immediately and never selected. And now that everything is set, let's go ahead and click the create modify button. And you should get a notification that the autoresponder for your blog's email has been successfully created. Perfect. Next, let's test it out. So I'm going to simply send a test email to my blog's new email account that I just created. So I'm going to go to my personal Gmail account and send a test email to trigger the autoresponder that we just set up. So again, this is from my Gmail account and I'm sending it to the Ben's new blogging video email address that we just created. There we go. And as you can see, after a few seconds, I received the automated email response from my blog's email address. Awesome. So there it is. Now that you know how to create an email address using your blog's domain, you'll not only look more professional, but you'll be segmenting your emails in a way that will let you be much more efficient. Additionally, by implementing the autoresponder, you're setting the tone with your audience and letting them know that you care about their inquiries. This might seem like a small detail, but it can really benefit you in the long run by keeping the line of communication open with your blog's visitors. So that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.